And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear. A man whom they took prisoner and hid away. A man whose name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam shall you hey wav hey. The universe of you hey wav hey. Brought to you by the nation of you working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the Day of Judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse, and it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed. And at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Heh, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. 
We invite you to study along with us. However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yisrael. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. Many people believe that the first commandments were given to Moses. But the fact is, the first two commandments ever given to man were given to Adam, which were to dress and to keep the Garden of Eden. We are now discussing the second commandment, which was to keep the Garden of Eden. We will continue our discussion of the second direct commandment that Yahweh gave to man, Adam, which was to keep the Garden of Eden, heaven. We told you that keep in Hebrew is shamar, and we learned last week that another one of its meanings is watch. We researched the word watch from two perspectives. First, Based upon the facts we gathered from the meaning of watch, we concluded that watch, as it relates to keep, means that Yahweh commanded Adam to teach his progeny to keep an eye out for the future birth of a child that is to be born among his, Adam's, descendants. We further explained that the birth of this child is to enable the seed of Adam to return or be restored to the Garden of Eden, which would allow them to keep the Garden of Eden as Yahweh had commanded of Adam. We researched the word watch from a second perspective and deduced that the child that is to be born is given the same charge as Adam, which is the responsibility of protecting life, property, and preserving the peace in the Garden of Eden. Today, we will begin to look at the charge that Yahweh gave to Adam and compare it with the charge he gave to the child that is to be born. In order to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh charged Adam to subdue the earth and have dominion over it, according to Genesis chapter 1, Verse 28, and it reads in part, And Yahweh said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. How was Adam to subdue the earth and have dominion over it? In order to answer this question, let us define the words subdue and dominion. First, the word subdue. Referenced in the American Heritage Student Dictionary, copyright 1998, on page 938, subdue means to bring under control by persuasion. Found in the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, Copyright 1978, on page 878, persuasion is equivalent to order. On page 813, order is the same as law and government. From these definitions, we can deduce that to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh charged Adam with bringing all people on the earth under control by executing the laws by which the government of Yahweh would be ruled. Now, let us examine the word dominion. The synonym finder by J.I. Rodale on page 321 tells us that dominion is synonymous to jurisdiction. According to Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1989, on page 655, jurisdiction means the authority to interpret, 
and apply the law. Stated in the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale on page 592, interpret is synonymous to decipher. On page 59, apply means practice and administer. Thus, Yahweh gave Adam the authority to decipher, administer, and practice his laws. Considering all these facts, we can conclude that to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh commanded Adam to bring all the inhabitants of the earth under control by teaching them the laws by which the government of Yahweh would be ruled. And even more, Yahweh gave Adam the authority to decipher the laws of Yahweh as well as to practice and administer them all over the earth. Remember we told you that because Adam transgressed the commandment of Yahweh, he was sent forth from the Garden of Eden, which caused him, Adam, to suffer a spiritual death. This death has reigned from the first Adam until the figure of him that was to come, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 14, which reads, Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. Adam was the figure of him that was to come. Next week, we will compare the charge that Yahweh gave to Adam with the charge he gave to him that was to come or the child that is to be born as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah Yahweh ben Yahweh is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mark D is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the enlightened one is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religion has been speaking of for almost 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. Welcome to Exodus, release our God to us. The Holy Bible prophesied that when the Son of Man appears, there would be wars and rumors of wars, a time when violence and crime would plague the earth. This is Judgment Day, and yud heh wav -Heh is using plagues to execute his judgment. His judgment is more evident and severe in America because a few high-ranking individuals in this country have used and abused their positions to judicially murder yud heh wav -Heh, Beit Nun Sofit yud heh wav -Heh, and put him in prison for crimes he did not commit. 
You they waf a plague's nations with floods, fires, famine, and even violence in society. Let us read Genesis chapter 6, verse 11. The earth also was corrupt before you they waf a and the earth was filled with violence. The Hebrew word for violence is kamash. Translated, it means the earth is filled with unrighteousness, cruelty, fear, and injustice. yud hey waf hey has plagued America with a sharp and amazing increase in violence. You name it, domestic violence, racial violence, gender violence, violence at work, in schools, and violence in our homes. Violence affects every U.S. citizen. In spite of our individual and immediate experiences with violence, every one of us confronts daily news accounts of crime and its aftermath. Not surprisingly, fear of crime and victimization is a common emotion and America is viewed as the most violent country in the world. Yudhe Wafe Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe was sent into this world to establish peace and harmony among all people by teaching the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God Yudhe Wafe. So, do we have to put up with violence in society? Of course not. And Yudhe Wafe Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe holds the keys to how. However, until Yudhe Wafe Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe is set free, the present course of natural disasters shall continue to get worse and worse and worse. Shalom, and we'll see you next week on Exodus. Release our God to us. Most people are not aware of the fact that America is in the Bible. She is cryptically called Babylon, Revelation 18.2. In 1986, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, sent the president, vice president, his cabinet, every senator, and congressman, the book Yahweh Judges America, which warned them of the inevitable destruction of America. This book explains all that the prophets said would come upon America in the Day of Judgment. You can now read what Yahweh Ben Yahweh told the government over 10 years ago. To get a copy of Yahweh Judges America, call the number on your screen today. What does eternal life mean? Eternal life means life without end. It means forever. Not only during the time of one's natural life, but through endless ages of eternal life and blessedness. To find out more, read The Messiah Revealed by Yahweh Ben Yahweh. To order, call us at 1-800-967-7337 or check out our new website and online bookstore at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. What is the Tetragrammaton? What are the laws and teachings of Yahweh Ben Yahweh? What is the meaning of the crucifixion? What are the laws of the covenant? How can you work to balance justice? How can you hear the voice of Yahweh? Learn the answers to these questions and many more on the internet when you visit the new Yahweh Ben Yahweh website. The address is www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Who is worthy? Who 
is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. Behold, Yahweh ben Yahweh is gathering the lost sheep of the house of Israel out of all countries where he has driven them in his anger and in his fury and in great wrath. And Yahweh ben Yahweh is bringing us again unto this place. And Yahweh ben Yahweh is causing us to dwell safely. Yahweh ben Yahweh is the Messiah whom Yahweh has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. Behold, Yahweh ben Yahweh has come with strong hand, and his arm is ruling for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He is feeding his flock like a shepherd. He is gathering the lambs with his arm and carrying us in his bosom and is gently leading us that are with young. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10 and 11. Fear not, for Yahweh ben Yahweh is with us. Be not dismayed, for he is our God. Yahweh ben Yahweh is strengthening us. Yes, he is helping us. Yes, he is upholding us with the right hand of his righteousness. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Psalm chapter 72 verse 7 tells us that in the days of the Messiah shall the righteous flourish and abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. Behold, Yahweh ben Yahweh the Messiah shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 13. Yahweh ben Yahweh will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and he will save us not by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, but by Yahweh our God we will be saved. Hosea chapter 1 verse 7. This proves Yahweh ben Yahweh is the Prince of Peace. This is the day that Yahweh ben Yahweh, the Messiah, has made a covenant for the lost sheep of the house of Israel with the beast of the field, which means nations with savage mindsets and with the fowls of heaven, which means nations that are high-minded and with the creeping things of the ground, which means nations with a base mindset. And he, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is breaking the bow and the sword 
and the battle out of the earth, and is making the lost sheep of the house of Israel to lie down safely. Hosea chapter 2, verse 18. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> That just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. The scriptures are being fulfilled. For the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is gathering the lost sheep of the house of Israel out of all the countries of the world. And he shall deliver us into a land of our own, where we shall enjoy a new life of peace and prosperity. Once we reach this land, we will see no more utter destruction, for the eyes of Almighty Yahweh are always upon it. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshimeaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yase Razonka, Hiva Shemayim Kain Baaretz, Et Lekum Kukainu, Tain La Nu Hayom, Uslak La Nu. Al Kati Enu, Kimosha Sol King, Gamanaknu, La Koteum Lanu, Vea Tefi Enu, Lade Nisayon, Kim Kal Senu, Mihara, Kilaka, Hamamlaha, Veha Givera, Veha Tiferet, Leolame, Olamin Sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us, Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Ben Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call... Ask about the special discount on The Persecution of Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Volume 1. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the Divine Mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the Internet at the address on the screen. <laughs>